A girl who can't afford to say, fuck you, Corey, I'm gone. She just can't afford to do it. So I take advantage of that. Now, that might be wrong, but her poverty and my needs, most of the time, it even out. I don't really need a lot of their time. And they don't tell me to fuck off because they know when I come over, their children can get some... <coughs> Hold up. God. Some outlet Jordans. Outlet Gucci. Yeah. <laughs> so what I got from that is, hey, I got the resources. You need me. You're not ever going to turn me away if I do some dumb stuff. Okay. How you speak of women, right, where you want control. Is there no, ever... I don't want control that is taken by force. I want control because I'm the one who is the leader of the pack, naturally. Right. But this control comes with having financial gain over the other person. So could you see yourself in a situation where a woman makes as as much as you or more than you i like women who make money just i can't do nothing with you other than sleep with you if you could take care of yourself you're gonna think you could talk to me <laughs> i don't like you talking to me a lot i know you got your own money and all like that so if you want to we can hook up hang out do that for a minute but i'm saying i feel like he's saying women with money just not gonna take anything because they don't have to and they're gonna be able to say their piece girls in poverty because they have they they, they have a deficiency poverty is a oh. deficiency out here in america i can fix your little deficiency <laughs> if you do what i want you to do I think it's an even exchange. Yeah, but that, you, do you see how that comes off as? Predatory? No. <laughs> <laughs> how does it come off? It's this, look, so, we're exchanging so, services. Okay, but that's not prostitution? It's all prostitution. What's not prostitution? So, the only woman who not prostitute, not a woman that's married to their husband. Whoa. Everything else, you're a now, I know a lot of people are going to be like, wow, that was messed up, blah, blah, blah. But you know what? I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. I'm glad that he said that out loud. And a lot of people are like, how dare him say something like that? But my whole thing is, would y'all rather people get on here and act like everybody has good intentions? Because we know that they don't. I was happy that he said this out loud. And for the women who just think that these sort of men don't exist, here's the proof. Here's all that you needed to know. If you've never known that there are people who are very transactional in the world, and if you're not able to be a person that they can just get something from or to take from, and then they're able to dangle like something over you to have control, I, like, I don't know how you ain't never ran into him, but there are people like that in the world. And he's just one of these people. And don't get me wrong, I understand being shocked behind what he said because it's like, wow, you really think like that? You really feel like that? A lot of people don't understand that there are people walking around the earth like this that are operating in this capacity and think exactly like how he thinks. Let's talk about Corey and what he was talking about with controlling a woman, okay? First of all, I understand that Corey is a different type of man. And yes, when he says control a woman, what I believe is I don't think he's saying that... It, he wants a woman to be broke so he can control everything about them. He's simply saying that there are some women, when they get to that whole level of... I'm a PhD. They're hard to deal with. He said he doesn't want a woman talking to him. He doesn't want a woman feeling like they're on the same level or stuff like that. Because women who tend to get on that same level tend to get back talky, if I <laughs> makes sense. I don't know what it is. And I'm not saying all women are this way, but there are some women when they get certain amount of money, if they're on the same level as you, they treat you with no respect. That's what Corey, I believe, is trying to say. I don't know that for sure. But I think Corey was trying to say is, man, every time I get with a woman who's on my financial level, she treats me like she can, she talks to me like she's a man like me. She talks to me like we're the same person. She talks to me like we're exactly the same. And I don't want that. I want a woman who can, you know, if I got the money, she know what it is. She's not going to talk to me crazy because I got the money. I'm the one providing here. I get that. Now, what I prefer, what I'm saying, that's a healthy relationship. No, but I don't think he gets in relationships. From what I've heard about Corey, he don't do any of that relationship stuff. So he's not a man that we should be like, oh, yeah, that's who we hold up as king. He has his own opinions. But my problem with that, that, that where this is going to go is that I don't think that men purposely go out, make money just to control women. It's it's like you feel it's like you think that that's our only goal. Like a man who's making a certain amount of money, even though if you're women look for those kind of men, let's not be dumb about it. Men, women look for men who are high value or making a certain amount of money. So it's kind of silly to think that, oh, man, this guy is just going to get with this girl because she's broke.
<laughs> it's just dumb to think. I just don't believe that at all. Okay, these men are highly sought after. And, and the only reason sometimes these men don't date women on their same socioeconomic tier is because women tend to want men that make more than them. So if they find a woman who makes exactly the same as them, for some women, so for some reason, women just get completely disrespectful when it comes to that. And so no man wants to deal with the bullshit. They'd be like, I'd rather just get with the woman who I make more than because I don't want to hear none of this. I'm a PhD. And you talk to me all kind of crazy. I don't work my ass off 80 hours a week to hear this bullshit. I'm not dating another man. I'm not. I'm not here to compete with you. I'm not here to have this, all this back talking. It is what it is at the end of the day. Okay? That's not control. That's peace. That's peace. Men, if you ever dated a woman who all she does is everything feels like a fight, everything feels like an argument, every day it's a competition, nobody wants that. Nobody wants that at all. And so men are going to avoid those type of women. So men who are making a certain amount of money avoid women who make the same kind of money because one, more likely they're not going to stay at home should that ever be an option. And two, they're just annoying. They're just annoying. It's the flat out truth. They're just annoying. It's not a, I need to have the power. It's the damn, I don't feel like hearing your mouth every day. Trust me on that. Ladies, if you needed any more of a reason to go get your own education, go listen to Corey Hogan talk to Cam Newton. Yeah. I want you to go listen, listen to that clip and come back here. Your education is your voice. Mm. Your money is your voice. Those are your opportunities to create not only a better yeah. life, but to have say so in the way your life goes. I'm talking to my nieces now because I know y'all watching. Yeah. Your education, your money is your voice, your power. She's right. Society would like you to believe that your power is your vagina. Right. It is, but it isn't. It's in combination with your brain. Mm hmm. That's and it. Your ability to maneuver in this world as an educated woman. You are going to run into people who want to take advantage of you. Yeah. Simply because they think you are not educated. They are going to want to date you. They're going to want to marry you. Mm -hmm. And they're going to want to break you down. Simply because they think that they have more than you. And that they can always remain high over somebody else. Yeah, exactly. I think she's absolutely right. And I think that this conversation goes both ways. I think men and women should be able to do things independently without having to depend on somebody else. Like having an education. Things that you can fall back on because people are stuck because they don't have financial independence and they don't have a way to make money and you don't you don't hear it you don't hear it and you don't think it's a big deal till it's a big deal and then you hear all about it yeah that's why it's scary this young man is going to say something that i just absolutely flatly disagree with um and i think it's stupid i really do now i want to say this ladies if you want to go up there and go get your education go do it listen this, the problem i have with this whole Yes, there are people out there who are predatory, but too many times women get told, well, go get an education. And then they just fall into debt. And then and then they don't they don't and then they get that degree. I'm a PhD. And then they somehow put themselves higher than men who don't have those same degrees. It could be some guy who's who is doing something else in his life, but he don't have a degree. And women sometimes they put themselves on such a high tier when they get that education that they price themselves out of the market. I don't know what it is, but if you know what I'm talking about, man, you can meet a woman who's got a degree in social work and make sixty thousand dollars a year. But you would you would swear that she would swear to you. It, it would it feels like she's making a hundred and fifty thousand dollars a year. You would think she's making that much by how much she talks about that degree. You, sixty thousand to a woman is a hundred fifty thousand in her head because she could buy a car, she can buy a, a brand new Honda Civic, and she could pay the bills at her own home and eat. For some reason, that right there it takes her from normal human being to I'm a goddess. I'm the top of everything. And it's just like, no, that's just really not how it goes at all. At all. So I don't mind women getting their education. Obviously, it didn't matter to me. I, I'm not going for you. But at the end of the day, it's like men aren't saying, don't get an education. We want to control every bit of you. I'm like, go get your damn education. But don't make it think, don't make it seem like that makes you better. I went to college with women, guys. You went to college with women. There, most of these women, they'll get with a guy who's also getting his degree and blah, blah, blah. Life goes on. But there is a certain type of women. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. There's a certain type of women. When they are getting their degree, like if you are getting the same, let's say you're getting an engineering degree and they're getting a business degree. 
to some odd reason, because y'all are both in college getting degrees, she still feels like she's better than you or she's on the same tier as you. Even though your degree is obviously, in most cases, getting an engineering degree is going to be a little bit more complex than getting a business degree. For some reason, they feel like they get put on the same tiers. And it's like, but we're not at all, at all. But she'll turn down any kind of man who isn't in college with her because she's getting a degree and it makes her special. And that's, that's the only problem I have it. Go get your degree, ladies. Do whatever the fuck you want to do. But at the end of the day, just know that your ego and that vanity of getting your degree, because, because here's my thing also. If the only reason you're getting your degree, you're getting an education, or you're doing all this stuff to make your own money because you're afraid that you're going to get with a man, marry him, and he's going to leave you high and dry, you're fucked. I know everybody wants to have a, a backup plan. Everybody wants to have an exit strategy when it comes to marriage. I promise you, if that's the way you think about marriage, you're fucked. Because obviously there's going to be people who tell you stories of, damn it, I wish I would have did this and I wish I would have done that. I just wish it would have worked out. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. It, it happens. Divorces happen and they're never nice. They're never good. That's why we try to avoid them at all costs. But if you go in there with an extra strategy, <laughs> best believe, by the time you get to 45, <laughs> y'all will be always looking for the grass to be greener. Always. Especially, and I talked about this in my last video, especially if you get with a man who's ambitious or you get with a man who's not ambitious. I don't know what you ladies want sometimes. Because if you get with a man who's super ambitious, he's going to be working all the time and he's going to maybe want you to work less. But if you take it as always as that's control over me, you're fucked. Listen, you may get married to somebody who does horrible things. It is a chance that somebody can change. It does happen. But if you go into every relationship thinking that they're going to financially abuse you or abuse you in other ways, you're screwed. You might as well not marry them. Because if you feel like that's the kind of person they are or you're afraid that a person is going to change, the marriage is going to suck. I promise you, you're spending your whole marriage being paranoid. And you're going to wait for the smallest, smallest thing to happen for you to be like, oh, there it is, and divorce. And next thing you know, you got to buy a dog. And it's all over. Okay? Now, this next part is probably going to make a lot of people pissed off, but we got to hear it. Here we go. I don't believe in the whole provider man concept. And now I'm starting to believe that the father's been out here lying to their daughters because either they don't have a father or their dad literally lied to them and, and told her that he provides for her and the family out of the kindness of his heart. These women really be thinking that men want to provide for women just for like it, like we're, it makes us proud to provide for them. Like, dudes provide for women for control purposes. Every man Wait. that I know that has told me that he wants to provide for a woman said it was so he could control his woman. I don't know nobody out here wanting to pay for everybody, their, somebody else's lifestyle oh. for, for a positive reason. I don't believe anybody is providing for anyone with no agenda. But I know there's women out there that will argue with me all day that their husband does it or their dad did it. And it's like, no, they didn't. I don't give a fuck what you say. They didn't do it because they, they was being nice. <laughs> the part that got me was this. Every man that I know has told me he wants to provide or that he wants to provide for a woman was only doing it out of control or whatever he said. That's wild. So so there it is, y'all. Like, I'm look, I'm not about to argue with nobody saying, hey, every man that told me that, they were saying they want control because I've heard people say stuff like this in real life. And yeah, it was like, dang, you really just want to control your wife? And they'd be like, yep, yep. And, and they're dead serious. So I believe them, but I'm like, dang, every man, none of them did it because they just love their wife. It was for control? Wow. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to be the stats. If there's any men watching, do you provide because you actually love the woman you're with? Or do you provide because you want control? Like, be honest. One thing he talked about was like fathers, lying, like our fathers lying to their daughters. Look, my dad always kept it really real with me about how men were. I, I ain't never had this idea that all men were just like great because my dad, like, I'm going to say it this way. My dad was a player and everybody in my family know he was like that. That's just how he was to the day he died. My daddy never wanted me to depend on a man. Now, I don't know how many women are raised like that, like where their own father is like, look, 
if you let a man control you, you like he gonna leave you high and dry. You don't never depend on a man for anything. They'll dog you out and you ain't gonna be able to do nothing. I don't know if women are being told that because everybody has like this idea like, I wanna live a soft life, I wanna do blah, blah, blah. And I'm not saying like, if that's what you wanna do, that there's an issue with it. But I, I've never been under the impression that I should be solely financially dependent on a man. And, and that's never been it, like in the cards. It's never been something I even considered because I was always taught personally how bad that is and what ends up happening to people who do that. And I've seen it for myself. Like I've seen it in my own family where women were being controlled by money. They could not make a move when they were being disrespected. They could not go anywhere. And I know a lot of people grew up seeing that sort of dynamic. And when you get older, you're like, hell no. Like I'm make sure I have my own bankroll because you ain't finna just do me any type of way. But I think a lot of women may have good examples of fathers where the father is providing 100% and he's taking care of the mom. And what you still have to remember is even though that your dad may be a fantastic provider for your mom, there are people out here that are preying on people and they're preying on the fact that you don't have resources. And these sort of situations can be very controlling. Now, if you just think everybody's like your dad out here, if your dad was like a great man, what I'm here to tell you is look, look, look at what's going on. Look, read, the, look at the video. <laughs> I'm not about to sit here and argue that nobody's lying. I believe exactly what they're saying, but what you should do is understand that every man is not the same. That whole thing that pisses me off about it. Listen, this dude said, this dude came out and flatly said that men, men, all men only be or provide a male so they can control their woman. And my problem is that she really agreed with that. She said, I'm not going to argue with nobody because she said she talks to men and they say that same thing. And you're like, for real? And she's like, yep, that's the only reason I do it. The only reason I provide and go to work every fucking day is just so I can control her. So I can feel like I have some sense of control. Right. And it's just foolish. It's just, it's, it's idiotic at the end of the day. Now calling her an idiot saying that the idea is idiotic because you contradict yourself by simply saying, well, Oh, I'm not even on my camera. You contradict yourself by simply saying, well, if I, if your dad did it and he was a great man, that's cool. But just know that there's other men out here who aren't going to do that. It's like, okay, but you just said that a man did do it. So if there are men who will do it, then that means there are men who will do, who will do it. So what you're pretty much also stating is that even if there are men out there who will provide for you and try to take care of their family and make sure that they do right by you, you're never going to get that man because you're always going to be focused on that the men will fuck you over. Your mindset going in, anytime you give up the man who says, hey, I I'm willing to provide if you will, and that's what I'm looking for, you're automatically going to go in and be like, mm, but he may fuck me over because he's not like my dad. You don't, I mean, what are you supposed to do? Are you supposed to trust your spouse or not? I'm not saying everybody's going to, once again, most people, both people are going to work. Vast majority of the time, both people are going to work in the family. So even listening to these women who are like, I went for my man for money, most of these women can't do that. Most women can't get a man who's going to provide everything for them. Okay, not all those kind of men get married. And the men who did get married, they vetted them and you probably look good as hell. And they're just something. That, and so it's just crazy because when I, I these some of these women, you're going to see here in a second, some of these women just assume that they could get a man who's going to provide everything. But it's crazy because, and <laughs> listen, this is a, probably a small population of people who think like this. It's a small population, but the reason I'm making this video is because she has a large following. So that means she's going to get out to more people and make more people think this way. Influence is influence no matter how you um, go about it. So I just believe that it's, it's just very damaging to go out and start talking about men who want to be providers and pretty much say that they're going to fuck you over if they decide to do so. The problem is also women want this. If you haven't noticed over the last, I don't know, 20, 30 years, Women have been asking for men who make more than them. They tend to not want men who don't make more than them. So what are they supposed to do? I don't want that question answered. If most women want men who make more than them, very rare you're going to see that women come out and say, I want a man who makes exactly what I make. Not saying that it won't happen. But if a woman has the choice, I'm talking about if she has the option, if you present her with three options, you make your own money, whatever, but... You know, you make all your money, but it doesn't go towards anything. You just make money. Some women will pick that. Another option, the man makes all the money. You can pretty much chill at home and be financially dependent on him. 
All the money is coming through him. But at the same time, you all you need to do is take care of the house. Women are going to pick that. And then you have the other option. You make exactly what he makes. Which option do you think most women are going to pick? Most women want the soft life. You see women on TikTok and on Instagram all the time talking about how glad they are that they don't have to work. There are so many women who are single who are like, I don't have to work a day in my life. I have passive income and all that kind of stuff. You Women tend to not want to work. Now, there are women who want to work because they feel like this whole control bullshit is going to happen. But that's happening completely out of fear. Completely out of fear. And so if most women would like their man, even if, like I said, if a woman's working, she still wants her man to make more than her. Doesn't that mean he still would have some financial control over her at something? Because if she depends on his money, so let's say they're both working and he makes more, she makes less. What are they probably going to live off? His lifestyle, because he's providing more money. So if he was to disappear, her lifestyle would either have to downgrade because it's going to have to, because more than likely they're going to live off both of their incomes. If he's making 100000 and she's making eighty, they're probably going to live around that 180000 If his 100000 goes away, her life is going to have to downsize. That's a hundred grand no longer coming to you. Most women would not call that financial control, but that's what they want. So I think it would be silly to think that even most women think this way. But I do think it's damaging because it makes it seem like men are always going out to prey on these young women as if women aren't always or tend to look for men who make more than them. That's just how it goes. Women have been asking for this for a very long time now. So to make it seem like, oh, let's turn it back on men. They're the ones who want to really, want to just prey on every young woman they can find or any uh, woman who's got a, who's broke. That's what men want. They want to just have everything. It's like, y'all motherfuckers are the ones who say y'all wanted this life. You don't want 50-50. You say you want more than that. So how's it our fault now? So the second we start making more money, we want control. I think that's just goofy. I seen a video of I think his name Big Sexy, but he was talking about men love the idea of a strong woman, but in reality they want a broke. <laughs> and that shit is like a hundred and eighty. I'm two hundred percent true. Okay? okay, they do not want no independent boss up ass bitch. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. They okay. want to a broke ass bitch. You know why they want a broke ass bitch? Because they want to feel needed. You well, know what I'm saying? They want to have that power. You know, but if you get a you get a boss ass bitch, you get a female who want her shit, who got some bread. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell her what to do, bro. No, you can't. You know what I'm saying? True. You can't spoil her shit, spoil her motherfucking self. But then she spoiled her motherfucking self, she gonna look at you as less than because mm -hmm. it's like, you know, you should have been able to do this. You know? I, I don't know about that. Thing. A lot of women not gonna admit that shit, but I'm I'm definitely gonna admit that. I'm gonna look at you weird. You know what I'm saying? Now we're gonna we're gonna do that part again. I want you to know that she was cool with it. She was absolutely cool with it, but she was like, Yeah, now she can spoil herself. But the second she made actual sense, she said that she's gonna look at you different if you can't spoil her the same fucking way. She said she don't believe that. That's true. But that was the actual point. She actually made a point there. That's the truth. Because these women, if they spoil themselves, they're going to look at you crazy because you didn't spoil them that way. Let's hear that part again. You know, but if you get a, you get a boss ass bitch, you get a female who want her shit, who got some bread. You know what I'm saying? You can't tell her what to do, bro. No, you can't. You know what I'm saying? True. You can't spoil her shit, spoil her motherfucking self. But then she spoiled her motherfucking self, she going to look at you as less than because mm -hmm. it's like, you know, you should have been able to do this. You know? I don't, I don't know about thing. that. A lot of women not going to admit that shit, but I'm, I'm definitely going to admit that. I'm going to look at you weird. You know what I'm saying? And everybody like, it's not always about money. You're absolutely right. It's not always about money in a fucking relationship. But, but, okay. but, 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 you need to be with somebody that can match you financially. Okay? I don't want right. to hear no shit like, oh my God, Nicki Minaj make more than her husband. I understand Nicki Minaj makes more than her husband. But at the same time, though, Nicki Minaj's husband still, is, you know, has money. Y'all don't be having no fucking money at all. Okay, and when I say certain shit, like we go out to dinner and the dinner costs two hundred fucking dollars, and I say, "Hey, babe, I left my my fucking wallet at home. You know, go ahead and grab that. You know, for me." And you ain't got it. I'm gonna look at you fucking weird because why you ain't got it? I have it. Why you ain't got it? <laughs> That's how I'm gonna look at you. I don't give a fuck what nobody say. And you damn, you damn motherfucking right. I'm gonna be like, you know what I'm saying? You're my son at this point. You're you're. Oh. In the 
And then here come the man and be like, that's what I'm talking about. That's what's wrong with y'all black women there. Because y'all want some shut the fuck up. Whoa. Because every other race of women would expect the same. Listen how this young lady talks about black men. Because she said niggas. So she know who she's talking about. And she said, shut the fuck up. And she's also saying, uh, well, how come I got it and you ain't got it? Because that's the only kind of women, that's the only kind of men you can get. Sorry. That's the only man you can get. You get on here with a bonnet on and talking about all this shit like you a, you a boss ass bitch. But come on now. The only reason you can give examples of that kind of shit happening because that's the kind of men you can get. But I'm going to let her finish. I'm going to let her finish exact fucking thing they would expect it they would expect for you to be able to pull your fucking weight a lot of y'all bruh be coming into relationships broke as hell you can't enter into a relationship with no fucking body and not have no money bro that's just what it is if okay. you enter a relationship with somebody you need to have some fucking money i don't want to hear that shit <laughs> okay because y'all be like y'all women be coming to relationships when y'all be having no money man you knew that bitch ain't had no money and you liked it because she ain't had no money because you could tell her what to do you can control them more because you had the you had the, the upper hand. That's you the man. She gonna look at you like a caretaker because that's what y'all want. Y'all want somebody to look at y'all as a fucking caretaker. But child, I can go on about this shit all motherfucking day long, but I'm not. I got shit to do today. <laughs> <laughs> this video came out in like January or something, and she even said back here, like, yeah, men like to be like seen as Captain Save them. And that's why I said, I'm not gonna lie. I thought that a lot of people knew that there are men that like to feel like they're needed in it. Like, it's like, if they don't feel like they are the one that's able to financially be able to do everything and have the control, then they don't even want to be with the woman like that. They don't want to be with the woman that's like strong, independent. And I'm not going to say anything is wrong. Like you can't be feminine and have your own. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying they don't want you to have your own. A lot of, you know, men don't want that. Now, if you remember yesterday, um, when I was when we were watching the video, Kevin Samuels had talked about um, women being hypergamous keeps them feminine. So, yeah, you're right. <laughs> Simone, you're actually wrong. When you say that women who tend to make a ton of money don't tend to be feminine. It just is what it is. But let's go back to what the young lady was saying. First of all, she said that you have, if you get with a man that's make that met not, you get with a man who's not making any money, you're going to feel like you're my son. Or feels like if you're not making enough, you feel like my son. The only reason a woman like that can give any kind of example like that is because that's what she deals with. Men with money don't deal with women like her. A woman who gets on the camera with a fucking bonnet on? No, ma'am. Sorry. Just is what it is. Presentation's everything. You get on camera acting like that and telling men, shut the fuck up, and I can't stand those niggas. And I tell you, that is one quick way, for me personally, to, to be like, oh, yeah, this women don't respect black men at all. As soon as I start hearing niggas and all that kind of stuff, it just sounds crazy to me. It just sounds crazy to me. I get it. We can say it in a funny way, but you can tell when women are saying it with malice in their heart, especially if they ain't got a man or they're not in a relationship or especially if they're not married. I don't care about women who have boyfriends. I really don't care. Women who have boyfriends to me don't mean shit. If you're not married and you start saying all that, I don't need niggas, need to, need niggas, that, and these niggas, 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 niggas. It's just like, okay, they got no respect for black men. And so let's get real about what these videos are truly about. I think it's just goofy that if we ever get to the point where we start believing that if you need to, to in order for you to have a man or be able to um, be in a successful relationship, you got to make exactly what your man makes. And no woman wants that. Women want men who make about, make more than them the vast majority of the time. Now, here's something I do want to say. You can never be in a relationship and be 50-50. I've already said that before. Okay. Certain men are okay with being 50-50. It's all right. That's all good. And a relationship can be great. But if the reason you're in a relationship and you're doing 50-50 is because your wife is afraid that you're going to leave her and leave her with nothing. <laughs> let me let me break this down for y'all. Because I think this is just getting lost in the sauce. You know, most men are average, right? Most men make average money. So where is this concept coming that men are going to get with you? Because they make a little bit more than you. Gonna control you and then leave you. For what? I'm sorry, but I don't I think women really do got this shit confused. Because they deal with men who make certain I love how Kevin used to say alpha widows. I know he didn't coin that term, but it, it's it's a true thing. Alpha widows. Women get with a man who is very financially successful or um very good looking or all these things, 
And for some reason, when that same man goes and gets with another girl, women get like some fucking delusion in their head to believe that men, all of us men, at any point in time, can leave you for another girl. At any point we want to. As if most women, as, mo as if most men struggle even getting women to date them because they are average looking or <laughs> below average looking. If you live in the city and you know what I'm talking about. Now, people who live in small towns, you got a better chance because it's slim pickings. You get what you get. But if you live in the city, you live in Atlanta, you live in Houston, Dallas, Austin, okay? You live in these big-ass cities, Miami, New York, L.A., San Diego. I don't know how, what people think about San Diego, but nonetheless. You live in these big-ass cities where there are a lot of people. If you're an average man, your chances are slim to fucking zero of almost getting a date. Why? Because there's so many options. Women feel like they have all the options in the world. And they do for the most point, for the most part, to get piped down. But the the, the men that they're gonna get piped down for, piped down from, are not men that are gonna marry them. Because they have options. I'm not marrying a girl who gets piped down from from every man. Are you silly? But some reason men think women think that because they get with these men, that men always have options. So you get with a man who's making ninety thousand dollars a year and you're making forty five, you think he's gonna leave you just because he so he can go find other women like he's got it like that? These men don't think this way. Most men don't think. Well, you know what? Oh, you know, as soon as I get the chance, I'm gonna leave this broad and go find me somebody else and get with her and leave her in financial ruin. No, <laughs> when a man really comes to provide for you, it's rarely gonna be out of control. Are there some men who do it? Yes. I guarantee you that percentage is so low, you shouldn't need to worry about it. And if it does happen to you, sucks. That's just what life is. But if you live your whole life trying to just, because, oh man, it's just so frustrating sometimes. Women don't want to work till they're 60. Whoever told you that bullshit ass lie? That's a fucking lie, Simone. Come on. That's the lie. To sit here and think, that women would be like, well, instead of having my man provide for me and me, my body stay in great health while his body is getting broken down because he's working so much, I would rather also work until I'm 62. I'd also rather work that just so I can have my own bankroll just in case he decides to dip and go get with the Latina down the street. No, because I mean, you're on. Think about it, ladies. That's your only option then. If you're always afraid the man's going to leave, then your only option is to work the rest of your days until you can't work no more. That's the only option because you can't not work. There'll be no point in your life where you can't work. That means when you get, you're about to have a baby, there ain't no maternity. You're going to go on maternity leave for your 12 weeks and your ass better be back to work because at no point you want him to be able to take advantage of you. So you're going to have to work the rest of your fucking life. Every chance you get, you can have four, five, six, seven, eight kids. Every time you come off maternity leave, your ass better be back at work, do whatever the fuck you got your education in because you believe that he's going to bounce at some point because you're financially dependent on him. So if that's always the case, ladies, fine. Go ahead. Go ahead and any chance you get, work. Work until your bones break, okay? And until the day you can't work. I was watching, I, so, it sucks sometimes because, you know, it, there's always a fear. And I love Big Sean who had talked about this. But at no point do you ever feel secure. I was watching some uh, older lady who was working at, um, I'm not going to say the store, but she was working at a store that I was going to. And she had diabetes in both her fingers. Okay, because I was seeing what that looks like. Diabetes in both her fingers. So her fingers were dying. And she also, she didn't have diabetes in her fingers. You know what I mean, though. She had diabetes and her fingers are slowly rotting. She can't feel, she can't feel in these two fingers. And she's got an oxygen thing on. And she's got lipedema. And she got edema in her, you know, the bottom of her legs. And she's still got to work. And her old man came up. I don't know if it's her husband, so I'm saying old man. Her old man came up and gave her some cough drops. And he, he, he falling apart. That's what you want. Go take, go for it. You don't want a man who can provide everything and pay for everything because you're afraid he's going to bounce. Have it your way. You won't get a man like that. You won't. Those men tend to go for women who are going to stay at home, not to cook and clean and all that shit all the time, but to be the, the, the rock that they can come home to. They don't want a woman who's also working. Men are territorial. OK, men who make that kind of money, they're not going to want the they want their wife to be silhouette at the house most of the time unless they're out with me. This is what it is. 
And if you don't want that, ladies, don't take it. You don't have to bitch. You don't have to complain. You don't have to say, that's not me. It Don't worry. It won't ever be you. Go home. Do what you got to do. But this whole concept of I'm just going to be afraid for the rest of my life. You're fucking yourself if you want to do that. You know what you're treating yourself like at the end of the day? That's not feminine. That's That, that sounds like a man. Somebody says, well, nope, I want to work until I can't no more. Okay. Good luck. Most women have to choose that life, but you, if you want to, if you have the ability to not choose that life and you're choosing it willingly, I'm sorry, that's stupid. It's dumb. You want to get a man who is be like willing to provide for you, but you're so afraid. Okay. And you know what? There's nothing wrong with having to sit down, talk with him and tell him that you're afraid. I mean, he is a man at the end of the day. It's like, he can't voice that and be like, I ain't gonna lie to you. There's some part of me that feels like you, you know, you're going to bounce and leave me for the Latina down the street. And maybe and most men who care about you will be like, okay, well, here's what we'll do. I'll put this money aside for you, and I'll put you, I'll put money right here. So if I ever dip and leave you for a Latina, bam, you got money. In fact, and if you get a man who's really got that kind of money, but like, all right, here's 50000 right here, bam, right there. If I leave you for any second, bam, you already got 50000 out ready to go. Or 100000 out, or whatever. But more than likely, if y'all get divorced, you're going to get something. Uh, let's do the prenup. I mean, the prenups, I think they go away for 10 years in some states. So, anyway, let me know what y'all think. Or don't. Goodbye.